This is the Logitech K780 keyboard. After seven months of using this keyboard, I'm so in love. On the side, we have the power on and off button. Up front here in white are three buttons labeled one, two, and three to switch between multiple devices. At the top, you've got a rubber tray to hold devices such as your iPhone and iPad. At the bottom, you've got shortcut keys for both Mac and Windows. At the back of the keyboard, you've got a tray. Just slide it down and located inside are the batteries. To the right, you've got a USB Bluetooth adapter for computers that don't have Bluetooth. Pairing this keyboard up is a breeze. Just press and hold down any of the multi-device keys until the LED light on the button begins to flash rapidly. Go to the device you're connecting and select the keyboard from the list of Bluetooth devices. Once selected, you will get a prompt to enter a six digit passcode on the keyboard. Enter that in and then press the enter key and you'll be good to go. The process is the same for the computer and iPhone and iPad. In the time I've used it, what I really love is the ability to seamlessly switch between devices with just the tap of a button. When I'm at the computer working, I just leave my phone in the rubber tray and if I get a message or need to type something up on my phone, I just tap button number three and the keyboard switches right over. What's great is that keyboard shortcuts work even on the iPhone. The keyboard is smart enough to know what device it's connected to and allows you to use the shortcut keys accordingly. For example, on the iPhone, press Command and A to select all the text, Command and C to copy it, and Command and V to paste it. The keyboard is so smart that you can even go to the home screen of the iPhone by pressing the home button at the top of the keyboard. Want to change the volume of something playing? Sure, no problem. Just press the volume keys on the keyboard to raise, lower, and even mute. At any time while using the keyboard with my iPhone, I can just press button number one and be taken back to my computer. Switching is flawless and here too the keyboard realizes it's a Mac so all the shortcuts and keyboard keys work accordingly. This is by far my favorite feature because when I'm editing my YouTube videos and switching between my iPhone and Mac this keyboard helps to make my life easy. Another thing I love about this keyboard is how quiet the keys are when typing. It's very similar to my MacBook Pro. Here, take a listen at the keys of the Logitech keyboard and then the MacBook one. Its slim design allows you to carry it anywhere with you in the house. This makes it a great companion for the iPad as well. Just dock the iPad right into the rubber tray and go on with whatever you've got to do. It's not an iPad magic keyboard, but hey, it's also not $349. Last but not least, let's talk about the battery life. Logitech claims it'll last for 24 months this is amazing and for me, I've been running it for 7 months with it rarely ever off and it's been flawless so far. If I ever run into any issue, I'll update you all to inform you. I got this keyboard to have the ability to switch between my devices and it's definitely pleased. I love the design and functionality and for the price of $60, I really can't complain. I highly recommend you give this keyboard a go if you're in the market for one. That's all for me today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions for me, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.